And the title of my sermon is Facing the Unknown. So, like I mentioned, I'm from Grand Prairie. Now, Grand Prairie is around a big city. It's home to over 200,000 people. But even though it's one of the biggest cities in Texas, a couple months ago, I mean, I never heard of a place called Grand Prairie. In fact, at that same time, I didn't hear much about Texas at all. It's because I'm not originally from Texas. I was born in a place called Woodbridge, Virginia, which many of you probably never heard of. But to me, this was my home. I lived there my entire life. I had my school, my house, my friends, and my church. I was there for the first 17 years of my life. Now, those 17 years had such a down, but it was the only place I knew. I had a church that I felt comfortable at. I had friends I could go hang out with, and I was in a school where everyone knew my name. I lived in that exact same house for 6,205 days, <laughs> when one night, I'm about to come home from school, I got a text from my parents. The text read, I mean, get home, don't go up to your room, we need a family meeting. And now, when I, when I read this, I knew something was up. Because usually, we don't have family meetings unless I did something terribly wrong. And, I mean, as far as I remember, I remember to take out the trash, did the dishes, did all my chores, so I was pretty sure they weren't mad at me. But if they weren't mad, then what was this all about? So, I went home to find out. I got home, and my parents sat me down and said, son, we're moving to Texas. What? <laughs> we're, we're moving? Why are we moving? Uh, to me, Texas was a foreign land, thousands of miles away, in the middle of the country. I'd never heard of the Buckies. I'd never eaten that Whataburger, or even seen a tumbleweed. Yeah. <laughs> I left everything and everyone that I knew and went into the unknown. And honestly, I was nervous. I had no idea where I was going. I didn't know who I was going to be friends with, and I didn't know how it was going to work out. It was the most stressful time of my life. I was facing the unknown. But maybe you've never moved halfway across the country. Maybe, but you still know what it's like to face an uncertain tomorrow. Maybe you've gotten a phone call that changed your life. Maybe a relationship ended. Maybe a job changed, and suddenly your life got turned upside down. Even in these life-changing, stressful moments, when we face an uncertain tomorrow, Jesus has an answer for you. You see, there's a moment in the Bible where the disciples have found themselves in this exact same place. The disciples had just spent the last few years walking with Jesus, learning their les his lessons, and ministering to thousands of people. But now, all this was about to change. Jesus was about to leave this earth, and the disciples had no idea what happened next. What would they do? Where would they go? What was going to happen? And they had all these questions, and in that moment, they stood on the edge of the unknown. But luckily, Jesus had an answer for them. In Matthew 28, 20, his final words to his disciples was, Love, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Well, what does this mean for us? What it means is, when life changes, when things get difficult, when we face the unknown, it's easy to feel unprepared or inadequate because we don't have the strength to make it through today on our own. But know that you're not alone. No matter what tomorrow brings, no matter how difficult things get, God is right there by your side. Hebrews 13.5 tells me that God will never leave you or forsake you. You may not always see it, you may not always feel it, but Jesus promises that he will be with you always. He is always looking out for you. He is always available to you. He will protect you, empower you, and guide you, no matter what the future holds. Your dress might change, but God never does. Your relationship might change, but God is always by your side. Your job might change, but God will continue to provide for you and guide you because he's got you in the palm of his hand. One of the most difficult things to face in life is the unknown. Tomorrow can bring fear, stress, and doubt. I know what it's like to have my world flipped upside down in a moment. I know what it's like to have the stress and the weight uncertain tomorrow. But none of us know what the future holds, but I do know who holds the future. And if you find yourself unsure of how to make it through another day, remember that Jesus will be with you always, even to the end of the age.